When your company or close corporation is in financial trouble, there are, according to South African law, about 15 options that you have. The very first and obvious option is to pay your debt. Well, that's so logical, I'm not going to even discuss that. The second option is a commercial option uh, whereby you can consolidate your debt. We all know what consolidation means. You go to the bank or your next door neighbor, you borrow more money, you pay other debts so that you have a lesser uh, monthly payment towards debt. The following option is a moratorium. A moratorium is, in Afrikaans, we refer to that as a skid still stand or a cease fire. Uh, that is where you come to an agreement that the creditors will leave you alone for a certain period because something's going to happen. You have sold your house. You have killed your father-in-law and you will inherit in his will. Uh, uh, yeah, so, the, but remember that any creditor will only play ball if the carrot in front of the donkey is strong enough. You cannot simply tell him that I'll make a plan. Please, let's have a ceasefire. It will never work. Another popular manner of dealing with debt in a company is to negotiate an extended repayment period. It's logical. If you had a truck that had to be paid off over 36 months and you can extend it to 60 months, obviously your payment will be about 60% of what it was before. The next option is to do nothing about the debt. It's not a good option. Your creditor will take judgment in the end, they will execute against you and one thing that you must keep in mind in most businesses the principal of the business has some surety for the business so after that they'll come after you, get professional help. A popular manner of getting rid of trouble is to get investors on board, that's one way. The other one we all know the uh, a very, very popular thing to do in big companies is list on the JSE and sell your troubles to the public. Uh, it's a criminal offense to do it if you know you're in trouble, but uh, it has been done quite often in South Africa. There's another option, and that is, I think, about option eight, and that is where you simply borrow more money. Uh, be careful, if you borrow more money, you might end up in deeper trouble. Option 9 is what we call a private liquidation. It has got nothing to do with court process. It is where you still have enough assets available to sell off some assets and survive your troubles. Uh, just be careful when you do this because uh, if you sell off the wrong assets, you inhibit your capacity to do business. The following option, uh, that's option 12 about, I think uh, is simply trade out of the problem. Uh, in many instances it's a problem because uh, if the cash flow is gone you have a problem trading, keeping doors open, paying the landlord, paying personnel etc. Then there's an option that is called deregistration. Now please listen carefully, never ever in your life deregister your company or close corporation to get out of debt. The effect of deregistration is that number one, the government becomes the owner of all your assets, all your company's assets. Number two, all debts that are due and payable at the time of deregistration now becomes the personal debt of the principles of that business. Then another option, it's option 13 or 14 about, I didn't count as I go along, sorry guys is to apply for a compromise. Now a compromise is where you sit with creditors as well as shareholders and you must have in numbers and value 75% uh, support of any scheme. The scheme can take any form. The last option is to bring an application under the New Companies Act for rescue of the company. Please be warned it's a very expensive method uh, it was punted in the press and by the government as the saviour of companies. It is not. It is the saviour of very large companies that can afford a massive legal bill from my side or any other attorney that knows what he's doing. And furthermore, the monthly cost to the rescue team is tremendous. Uh, 
it will be somewhere from 200,000 per month upwards. Uh, the last option, if your company is in trouble, to, is to liquidate. But liquidation must be a managed process. Uh, the bull in the china shop approach will not work with liquidation. It does not mean that we're going to advise you to go hide things. It is so interesting that people come to us, their company must be liquidated and they have been advised to hide this and that. No. There are legal manners around the things that you wanted to hide in many instances. Uh, part of your liquidation should be the planning of your new business because if you're a businessman, I've got good news for you, they don't sequestrate or liquidate your brain when your company is in trouble. You still have your abilities, you still got your brain and that is the most important asset that you keep and that is what will that, that is what will turn your business wheels and your profits again in future.